friends and families. I am excited that you guys have decided you would like to try and do a special art project um, that we were gonna do in class, but because of everything, we were not able to do it in class. So thank you um, to those of you that accepted the challenge to do this at home. I think you are gonna enjoy the activity and love the end results. So today I'm going to show you how to make your very own stained glass Christmas picture. And it's actually pretty easy. So what you guys would have received from us, if you let me know you wanted to do it, is you would have received um, a picture frame, you would have received some tin foil, and you would have also received a picture. Now you either received a Christmas tree, if you asked for that, or a snowman, if that's what you asked for. Um, there are a couple other things you're gonna need to do this activity. Um, so one of the things you're gonna need is paint. Now, I've had a few parents ask me already, the, the best kind of paint to use is actually uh, acrylic paint, and I'm just gonna hold this up here so you can see that, acrylic paint. Um, however, if you don't have acrylic paint, you can also use tempera paint, um, but don't use something like watercolor. Um, it just won't come, it won't turn out the same way, okay? So if you have acrylic paint, great. If not, use tempera paint. Um, you can also use things if you have them, like I have some glitter glue um, that you can add as like a little finishing touch. That's okay to use, sparkles. Everyone loves sparkles. Um, or if you don't have glitter glue but you have sparkles, you can mix your sparkles right into your paint and then you have sparkly paint. And who doesn't love that? Um, you're also going to need a permanent marker. Um, so again, it's important that it's permanent. Um, if it's washable, it uh, will kind of mix with the paint a little bit and you'll end up getting a little bit of a blurred picture. So um, if, unless that's the look you're going for, then that's okay. But if you want it to have more defined lines, uh, use a, a permanent marker. You're gonna need a paintbrush. Um, a cup of water, uh, that's going to be to clean your paintbrush uh, when you're going in between colors. And then I have just here a paper towel to dry my paintbrush um, before I pick my new paint color. So um, you guys, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your picture frame. And you can see here I've got uh, my glass still in my picture frame. So I'm going to turn my picture frame upside down and I'm just going to carefully um, pop open the little tabs that it is holding the frame. I'm gonna remove the back. And then very carefully, I'm gonna take the glass out. Now this is real glass, so you must be careful because it can cut you or it can break and cut you. And this is supposed to be a fun activity, not a painful activity. So be very, very careful with your glass. Um, you can actually just put your frame and the back of your frame off to the side. You don't need them right now. Um, so I'm just going to clean up my mess here and then show you what your first step's going to be. Okay, so your first step is going to be with your uh, glass and with your picture. So what I've done is I've put my paper with my uh, picture. I'm going to use a snowman for this demonstration. I've put it on the table and then I put my glass on top of it so that I can see through. Now, the first thing you're going to do is take your permanent marker and you're going to trace on the lines in this case of the snowman, um, or if you're doing a tree, you're gonna trace a Christmas tree. Now, kiddos, you can do this step. Parents, if you think your child needs a little support um, guiding the pen, definitely you can provide that hand over hand support, um, but really encourage them just to go slow, take their time, use their looking eyes, or in Cree we say guide the pick, and uh, it's not a race. We're putting our time and effort into it and uh, we're going to do our best. So let's get tracing. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have traced my entire snowman and I have my glass still on top of my paper. Here's my glass, here's my paper. My paper is still under it. Now, this is the creative part. You can add some creative elements to your picture. So if you're doing a snowman, well, a snowman needs a face, maybe some buttons, and if you want, maybe a scarf. So using your permanent marker, you can draw those things on now. If you have a Christmas tree, you can add ornaments, garland, and lights, and maybe even a, a star. Do that now. You can also add things to your picture like snowflakes. I'm going to add some snowflakes falling from the sky. I'm just going to draw little tiny circles for my snowflakes. Sometimes people draw stars too, like little X's for snowflakes. However you want to do them is okay. And I'm going to draw a ground for my snowman to sit on. Okay friends, so once you're happy with your picture and you've added all of the things to your picture you want to add, it's time to get painting. Now the first thing that you can do before you paint is take your picture and turn your page over so that you are left with just a white piece of paper. I'll show you what I mean if I can move this glass. See here's my snowman on the glass. I carefully put it off to the side. I've got my white paper. Here's my snowman that I was tracing. I just flipped my paper over and now I have a clear white paper. I'm gonna paint on top of that because it just helps me see my snowman a little bit easier than on uh, the table. Depending on the color of your table, you could just put your glass directly on the table. To get painting, you really just need to take your paintbrush Choose your colors, whoops, choose your colors and uh, get going. Now, the snowman is a little bit easier to paint um, than the Christmas tree because there's a little bit less detail. The one thing I want to point out, if you are painting your Christmas tree, you need to paint your ornaments first and then fill in the green after. So first you paint your ornaments then you paint your tree. The reason for this is because when we put our glass back in our picture frame, if we've painted the tree first, we won't be able to see the pretty ornaments. So first your ornaments, then your tree. I'm gonna paint my snowman. Let's get started.
a few tips for when you guys are painting your picture. Tip number one, start with your small details. If you're doing a snowman, that's your arms, your nose, your hat. Let that dry and then paint the rest of your picture. Tip number two, it's okay to paint on top of the black lines that you drew. When we put our picture in the frame, we're going to flip it around. So we'll see the black lines on the other side. See, I covered my snowman's eyes, his mouth, and his buttons. But that's okay because you'll still see it when I flip it around. Tip number three, be patient. You don't have to paint your picture all in one sitting. Maybe you want to do it in pieces. You have lots of time. Don't rush. Take your time and you'll love the finished result. Now I need to wait for my picture to dry. You know what I love to do while I'm waiting? Listen to music. Let's check out this Christmas tune. Dashing through the snow In a one-horse open flame O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring Okay, everyone together now. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Welcome back, friends. So by now, you should have had the opportunity to listen to a few Christmas songs, maybe watch a show, and your picture has dried. So I'm going to show you the great reveal of my painted snowman. Here is my painted snowman. Now this is the side I painted, and when I flip it over, ta-da! my snowman with all his snowman features. Now it's time to put your whole picture together. So you're gonna need your frame, the back of your frame, and your tin foil. So step number one, take your frame and put the face of your frame, hello, down on the table, just like that. Then you're going to take your glass picture, remember you're being very careful because glass is breakable, 
and you're gonna put your glass picture into your frame so that the painted side, that means the side you painted, is facing up or facing the back. All right, I'm gonna very carefully put it in. There we go, just like that. Perfect, now it's in. Now you're gonna take your tin foil and you'll notice your tin foil has two sides. One side is not as shiny as the other. Put your shiny side down on your frame. It should fit nicely just on top of your glass picture. Next, you're gonna take the back of your picture and you're gonna place it on top of the tin foil. Now don't forget to close the little tabs on the back of the frame to make to hold it all together. All right, are you guys ready to see? Ta-da! There's my snowman stained glass picture. Show me how your guys turned out. Remember, we were gonna do this in class and I was so excited to see the pictures you made. Take a picture and send it to me. I will love to see it. I hope you guys had fun. Merry Christmas, Examaga. We'll see you in the new year. Just kidding, we'll see you on Zoom tomorrow. <laughs>